So iOS 13 is finally available and I'm gonna tell you why it's probably not a good idea for you to rush out and upgrade. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful, content. So iOS 13 is available just in time for the release of the new iPhones. There's a bunch of videos online on people reviewing it, taking a look at some of the cool features that it has to offer like dark mode, but, and there's a big but, it's a little glitchy and a lot buggy. So we have a lot of different outlets like The Verge and some other news outlets like Forbes reporting that there's a lot of different glitches that are happening with iOS 13 that's affecting people's devices millions of people's devices. Everything from apps crashing to poor Wi-Fi signal or cellular signal to the camera app not working to iMessage not working to people losing data that they've stored in iCloud projects and different things of that nature being deleted after they've done the initial upgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 13. There's even one report of a security problem where you can bypass the actual lock screen of your iPhone to access contact information from that particular device. So there's some security issues, there's some app issues, and it looks like this is probably one of the buggiest releases that Apple's done in a really long time. And one can't help but to wonder if the reason why is because they tried to rush this out in time for the release of the new iPhones. It's pretty buggy, it's pretty sloppy, especially for Apple. Now Apple's fully aware of the issue and they're promising that updates will be deployed to fix a lot of the issues that are being caused by iOS 13. They've already deployed a fix for the iCloud issue by rolling back the iCloud version to an earlier version and that will prevent any kind of loss of data when upgrading to iOS 13. But there's still a lot of bugs and you probably shouldn't upgrade to iOS 13 if you haven't done so already. If you have done so, then remember you can always roll back your update if you have a backup of your old OS before you update. So this is definitely a lesson learned to always back up before you update your operating system. Or you can also just wait a couple of days because Apple has accelerated the release of iOS 13.1 to address a lot of the issues that are happening with the iOS 13 release. They have pushed up the date to about September 24th. So that patch is coming out in a couple of days and that should fix the majority of issues that have already been reported for iOS 13. But there are probably some that haven't been reported that will pop up as the days go on. So keep an eye on your device. If you've already upgraded to iOS 13, make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to. If you're having any kind of issues, make sure you report it to Apple as quickly as possible. And also make sure to always, always back up your systems. That way you have a secure backup of your data in case you need to roll back after doing any kind of updates. So have you upgraded to iOS 13? Are you seeing any kind of bugs or problems with your system? Share that in the comment section below this video. If you guys have any questions, also share that in the comment section below. This video here is gonna teach you how to set up a secure hotspot on your iPhone. And this video is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful videos like this one. And until next time, guys, peace.